Hello everyone. Today I want to do a video on uh, CS 2018 and um, why this year could be a pretty interesting year for a new display uh, type panel. Uh, as some of you may know, in this year uh, Samsung actually released a prototype of a micro LED TV called The Wall, which is a 146 inch uh, micro LED TV. The interesting thing about TVs today is that there are two major display types. Uh, you have uh, OLED, which is displayed in front of me. And the thing with OLED is that it can actually achieve true blacks. Uh, this means that if there's an uh, object uh, somewhere in the screen and the rest of the screen doesn't have to be lighted up, uh, only the object will be actually displayed on the panel and all the other pixels on display will actually be uh, turned off, in this case blacked out. Um, a good example of this is the, this picture, which you're seeing in front of you, which is a picture which, which showcases the, um, the specifications of OLED pretty nicely. If you look at this picture, for example, at this uh, <laughs> piece of sushi, you can see that um, between this object and the pixels around it are actually turned off, which means that um, this self-emissive display, as it's called, can actually um, turn each pixel on and off, which means the specs uh, panel can actually display true blacks uh, when blacks are <laughs> displayed on the television. The next major TV um, panel on the market, oh, well, next type of TV on the market is LED LCD, which um, is actually a TV which, a type of TV which uh, cannot display uh, on per pixel on and off basis, but actually needs to be lighted in the back from a backlight. Um, an LCD LED TV needs um, either LEDs behind the screen or bulbs behind the screen to actually light up the entire screen, otherwise the TV would be black which uh, means that if you're displaying a picture on this TV, the entire TV has to be uh, lighted up, even if there's uh, a black or darkened scene on TV like this one. Uh, the black parts will actually show a little bit of lightning because the entire display has to be lighted up from the behind from a light source, which is not like OLED, which has uh, pixels which actually light up the TV itself instead of a backlighting source. Um, the interesting thing is L LED LCDs have their advantages and OLEDs have their advantages with OLED, uh, OLEDs having um, true blacks as I've mentioned. Um, aside from that they usually have very low response times and um, in general they do have a better uh, deeper color saturation than LED LCDs. Um, on the other side, OLED does suffer from image retention, which means if you have a static uh, image on the screen for too long, it can actually burn into the display. Uh, image retention is mostly temporary and doesn't occur a lot. I only had it twice in the couple of months with two different OLED TV TVs. Um, LCD LEDs don't suffer from this uh, because the back the TV doesn't actually create its own light. It actually is lighted up from behind, so uh, the TV itself doesn't have any burn in. Um, aside from that, uh, OLEDs don't go very bright. They do go pretty bright, but not extremely bright like top end LED LCDs. OLEDs get as bright as a thousand nits currently, like this television, which is comparable to a thousand candle lights. Um, LED LCDs can get up to 2000 nits uh, for the very, very expensive one, ones, which is comparable to 2000 candle lights. Uh, why this matters is because if you're looking at the brightly lit scene, you do have uh, when the sun is shining in the scene, it will actually, <laughs> the higher the peak brightness, the more obviously uh, the realism will be of the scene with uh, very low end LED LCDs, uh, peak brightness might be about 2000 nits, which is comparable to 2000 candle lights which means if you're looking at a, at a daylight scene, it will pretty, look pretty dim. So this could actually, uh, the higher the brightness, the more realistic the scene could be. And 
with these two TV technologies, Samsung has just uh, showed you a potential third uh, screen technology, which could be the best of both worlds, um, which is called Micro LED. Micro LED currently isn't really possible to uh, produce because it's incredibly expensive um, and it's still pretty new technology. Um, what this means is micro LED could actually uh, be the TV technology which doesn't need a backlight like uh, L LCD LEDs and could be self-emissive so it could have the same kind of black switch this OLED has but aside from that it could actually have a much higher peak brightness than OLED OLEDs or even LCD LEDs which the peak brightness potentially reaching 10,000 nits or 10,000 or comparable to 10,000 candle lights, which means that uh, a micro LED at its max specifications could actually have 10 times the brightness of this OLED panel. Uh, why this is important is because if you would look at a brightly lit scene, a sun in a scene or a reflection on a car in a scene, it would actually look like an actual sun or actual reflection on a car, even in a completely darkened room, which could mean that the scene would look incredibly realistic. Uh, everything in a, in a movie would look as real as uh, looking outside which would be an incredible feat for a television to actually have. Um, OLEDs are already near perfect. The only improvement could actually be a little bit more panel uniformity um, and a higher pre-brightness. But micro LED could actually uh, have the major disadvantages of OLEDs taken away, which is image retention, with, uh, which micro LEDs don't suffer from, and have a much higher peak brightness. Um, obviously, the reason that uh, micro LEDs don't suffer from burning is because micro LEDs, uh, unlike OLEDs, aren't made of organic materials. OLEDs need organic materials to display its picture, and these organic materials do decay over time, which also um, brings a little bit into the image retention. Micro LEDs use inorganic materials, which means it doesn't suffer from uh, any image retention or burning, as far as I know. So uh, a micro LED could potentially be the perfect television. Obviously, uh, today micro LEDs aren't really viable to produce, even in small numbers. So uh, it's TV tech, which could only be coming in the couple 10 to uh, 5 to 10 years. But it's nice to see that there's still innovation in the TV industry. And it's a huge change from the past where LED LCDs used to be the norm and where there wasn't that much innovation for a year, like five, uh, five years or so. So I do hope that Samsung will be improving on this uh, micro LED tech and maybe even other uh, manufacturers will be improving on this TV tech because it could mean that uh, micro LED could be a very, very viable competitor for OLED for the best picture quality. And it's a pretty exciting time to actually uh, l uh, be looking at televisions right now. So I will be covering a couple more uh, uh, TV tech from CES. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed this video, the short explanation of the TV displays right now and the future. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And stay tuned for my next videos. Thanks for watching and goodbye.